Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Baritone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to install mods for the Yuzu emulator. Now, this tutorial is basically very simple and easy, straight to the point, nothing too difficult here. But before you get started, please make sure you guys leave a like, share, and subscribe if you guys are interested to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So everything you guys will need will be in the description down below. So the website to get mods is basically for Game Banana because it mostly have um, mods for a modified switch and for the Yuzu emulator. So it goes hand in hand with kind of both. So go to Game Banana go to gamebanana.com you can type in super mario odyssey as you can see you can type in super mario odyssey because that's really popular with mods currently super mario odyssey and usually super smash bros ultimate as you can see mods to this day are still being updated like four days ago they have something called um super peach odyssey just to give you like a uh, idea that mods are still um being used for Super Mario Odyssey, which is still being created for Super Mario Odyssey, which is kind of crazy. Almost a, a game that's basically four years old. And yeah, so today I'm going to be looking at Animal Crossing because that's probably pretty popular with mods too. And that's currently the uh, the more newer game on the Nintendo Switch. It's only like one year old compared to others like Breath in the Wild or Odyssey and Smash Ultimate, stuff like that. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna look for a Pacific mod. I'm gonna look for the Persona mod because that's that's a pretty easy mod to install because it's just a custom-made costume for your villager. Um, where is it? There you go. All right, so we can do it right here. You're gonna manual deload. Go down. And after you do that, you wait for the download to finish. Do that. You're gonna drag and drop it right here. We're gonna close it. If you open this up, you should have something called ROM FS. Now, off the rip, I believe um, the ROM FS folder should read the Yuzu emulator folder if not but I believe you have to basically create um another folder to make Yuzu basically reads it because how Yuzu reads mods is kind of weird so I'm just gonna call it my persona mod animal crossing I create a folder for that all right correction to this video uh, actually, before, if you get anything that says ROM, ROM FS, make sure you make a folder on top of that for the user emulator to read it. So if you just drag and drop um, ROM FS to um, mod data location, it won't read it at all. So let me show you guys an example right now. As you can see, I put, I made my Persona mod Animal Crossing folder and I put it inside ROM FS. And then what I do next is going to open mod data location. You drag and drop it here. You close it. And to make sure that it actually works, you're going to go under to properties. And then obviously you're going to make sure it's highlight or the box is checked. And then you basically press OK. And you're basically all set to go to basically play the mod on the user emulator. So I showcase you guys how to set up mods on the Yuzu emulator and also how to find mods for the Yuzu emulator. If you guys find this video any helpful at all, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.